Hi, everyone. We have author Cheryl Lord here, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself. Yes, good afternoon. And um, I'm so happy to be here and talking about uh, my book, African Venus. I am from New York and I live uh, in Westchester County. I'm in business. I have a, um, a real, I'm a realtor by profession and I also do insurance. And um, the writing bug has been with me for a while since I was a teenager, but I was kind of always afraid to follow it. I went into the business arena early on and I liked that arena, but I also had that little nagging voice in the back of my head saying, you know, you should write something, you should do something. And uh, I finally decided to put my fears away and I, I, I came upon, upon the African Venus um, at an exhibit uh, several years ago. And her face, this is uh, the sculpture of her. I hope you can get a good look uh, of her face. This was, this is the miniature of her, but there's a, a full um, portrait of her that I came across as I was walking through the exhibit. And I pretty much stopped in my tracks. And I said, look at this beautiful African woman. Who is she? Where is she from? Um, you know, how did she become uh, the, the, the uh, poser for, for the statue? And um, from there, I just got excited and I, I wanted to know more about her. And I went on to do uh, some you know, research and I took it from there. I love it. So yes. African Venus is your first book, baby. It is my first book. And um, it took me about five years to write it. I published, self-published in 2013. Um, so it has been a journey. And, you know, this is real art history. I mean, uh, I know that um, one of my customers or one of my buyers of the book told me that, do you realize that the African Venus was on TV? I said, really? Yes, she was on a show called Like It Is. I don't know if you ever saw that show when it was on television a few years, you know, in the 80s and 90s. Um, it was held to by Gil, Gil Noble, but he used to do a little shot to, to the African Venus and then go into his segment. And I said, I didn't realize that. Um, but uh, she inspired me, really. And the other thing that inspired me was that when I went to look at where they might name her or tell me what country she was from, things like that, they didn't have any kind of plaque on her statue. And I kind of got annoyed behind that. I said, wait a minute, you know, this is what people do to marginalize other people. They don't say their name. They don't say what country they're from. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, people just go, oh, okay. But I just felt I couldn't do that. And even though I really don't know her name, I call her Nima. And I put her in the country of, uh, in a West African country called Dahame. And because I could find a lot of information about that country in the reference books and the, uh, you know, the textbooks. It's, so I could be begin to put together a story about her family, who her father was, who her mother was. Um, did she have sisters and brothers? Did she have a husband? Did she have children? Before all this statue, before she, she was kidnapped and taken away um, to a foreign land, um, leaving behind everything she knew, what was her life like before that? Okay, I love it. And show us the cover of your book. Yes, this is the cover of the book, African Venus. And it's a short book, but I think, you know, I think your readers would enjoy it. Um, many people tell me that they couldn't put it down, things like that. You know, it was kind of an experiment for me to, to write the book and then to see the results or the enthusiasm that people showed toward it. So it did encourage me. Um, as I said, I, I published it in 2013. And now, uh, because it was a short story, I'm trying to write the longer version of the story. But um, instead of writing a longer version, I've written a play. Okay. So, and I had hoped to um, premiere that play last year, but we all know what happened there. And um, now I'm trying to, you know, reorganize that. I'm working with a director and we're trying to get back on track with that. So I'd like your audience to 
uh, know that I am doing more with the story and I'd like to stay in connection with people. And um, I have an offer to, to uh, give to your, your members in a, in a moment when the time is right. Okay. And mm -hmm. tell everyone where we can purchase the book. We can, you can go to um, uh, amazon.com, www.africanvenus.com. Thank okay. you. You're so welcome. And how can yeah. we find you on social media? Um, on social media, I am at, on Twitter, I am at Lord Cheryl, my last name first and then my first name. On um, uh, uh, Facebook, I'm at AfricanVenus.com. I, I just think it's African Venus. And that's the ones I use the most. Um, I am on, what's the other one called? Instagram under inspired to write one-on-one. And that's inspired the word. And then the number two, write one-on-one. And Ms. Cheryl, what do you hope readers take away from reading your book? Well, I, I want readers to realize that there, this is history and the story of the African Venus um, is interesting because she travels from her homeland to uh, foreign countries and to, to um, America, eventually she lands here in America. Um, and sh we should know her name. We should know um, what she probably experienced um, as she sat for this um, bronze statue of her and and um, the the um, sculptor uh, Charles Cordier became very famous behind this portrait and it was purchased by um, you know it was created in 1848 but it was purchased and highly highly received very much um, by royalty and other people from all over the world so I think her face should be recognized and appreciated and her story should come to the screen or to the, to the stage at some point, we'll see. Now that's a beautiful sculpture. Is there a way to purchase the sculpture through you as well? Well, um, I can look into that and see, yes, okay. that's an idea. You know, we can, um, uh, we can, I can certainly check into that because I, I purchased this several years ago um, from another museum, uh, the Baltimore Museum of Art. And, um, you know, so that's an avenue. I can let people know where to go as well. Okay. Okay. And how do you so it would be a beautiful thing to have on your nightstand or in your living room. It um, is. Yes. She's quite, quite extraordinary, right? Yes. <laughs> and how do you think being a writer has helped you as a person? Well, I, I think it's given me more confidence um, as a person, I think that um, I read somewhere in Ebony Magazine, I think several years ago, if you can't find the stories that inspire you, write them. Yes. So, um, you know, and I like historical things. I like things that are and that have a, a history to them. And I like to embellish them and, and create more stories. So I wish I had more time to write. Um, but um, I have to burn the midnight oil to get things done, but I am trying to do that, you know, even though it's difficult times, but I try to stay positive. Okay. And besides mm -hmm. the play, are you thinking of what you're gonna write next? Well, um, the next story that I'm thinking about is is um, a story about me and my girlfriends, but it's a kind of like, um, um, what is it, the story, the movie that came out a few years ago, um, Girl Trip. Yes. But, you know, toward the older end of the spectrum. But okay. We'll see. Oh, that and, sounds know, fun. I, that sounds, you know, funny little antidotes and things like that, you know. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about, doing. but I got to start working on it. You know, it yes. takes time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your book? Um, no, just basically, I hope you get a chance to read it. And I hope you get a chance to come to my website and leave a comment. Okay. Well, okay. thank you, Ms. Cheryl. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you for doing this and offering. Oh, and 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 here's to the sip and the flip. <laughs> you. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Thank you so much for doing this and having this platform for writers. 
All right, everyone, that was author Cheryl Lord telling us about her book. Make sure you go out and purchase a copy and don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos below.